What's going on guys, Jerry Neutron here back with part two of my personal rig upgrade and today is build day. So I've got all my parts laid out, I'm ready to get to work. Be sure to capture, uh, capture plenty of footage for you guys. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna record this yet, but uh, hopefully I'll put together something that's gonna be exciting to watch. So yeah, I really don't have much to say, but I'm gonna get to work, so. So yeah, that's it. Guess, guess I'm gonna stop recording now. All right, so before we get started on this build, the first thing I wanna do is make sure my hardware works. So I decided to uh, throw my motherboard and CPU together on a box with a CPU cooler that I just had laying around. And uh, we wanna make sure that the system posts. So that's what I'm doing here right now. And uh, this combo that you guys see here on the screen, uh, by the way, super quiet, highly recommended. But anyway, let's just see if the system does successfully post. All right, so it looks like it does post successfully. So now we can go ahead and officially get started with the build. So I'm gonna start by throwing down some uh, thermal paste that came with the Be Quiet cooler that I have. I'm gonna be running the uh, Dark Rock TF, by the way, if uh, you didn't see my previous video. And now that I got the thermal paste down, I will go ahead and sit the CPU cooler on top and uh, screw everything down. The CPU cooler, when you're installing it on an Intel board, is just a little bit more involved than when you're installing it with AMD but it's still pretty simple. Of course, I always recommend taking your motherboard out of your case and installing a CPU cooler. It just makes it a lot more easier. That way you're not really reaching into tight spaces and it's kind of hard to get around and tighten stuff down. So uh, that's kind of my method of going with it. And then also I have actually taken the sticker off of the be quiet fan here that way my fan is all black because I really wanted to get kind of a black and red theme going on here also I've got this uh, HyperX Savage RAM thanks to HyperX for actually providing this RAM this is a 16 gigabyte kit in red <laughs> All right, so what I'll do now, now that I have the uh, cable extensions attached to the motherboard, again, I like putting those on outside of the case as well uh, because it's easier when you have to kind of apply pressure to get them to uh, fit down. So um, once that was done, it's time to put the motherboard in the case along with the CPU cooler. I actually think it looks pretty good so far. Got that uh, nice red and black theme going on right now. The only thing I don't like about it is this motherboard is actually has a smaller width than a standard size ATX board. So in this case, you can see the motherboard cutout on one side, which I'm not really a fan of. I kind of wish I would have got the uh, Gaming 7 board instead of the Gaming 5 as that has uh, a standard width, but uh, whatever, I'll survive. And then here you can see kind of how it looks all together so far with the cables routed to the back and the CPU cooler installed and uh, kind of everything or a lot of things ran through the grommets so far. So looking pretty good. Also, I decided to go ahead and grab the uh, some more extension cables. These are the uh, BitPhoenix extension cables that I had for the ATX and the 8-pin EPS cable, but I went ahead and grabbed these two for my uh, PCIe cables. Originally, I was just going to run the stock Be Quiet cables, but uh, I really didn't think it would look good with the overall theme I was going with, so I decided to just go ahead and pick these up as well.
And so now you can see here, everything is uh, fully cable managed. Is that, does that make sense? I finished the cable management. A lot of cables, a lot of cables that I had to manage. So it's not the neatest, but luckily the n Pro has a lot of space for you to tuck in your cables back there. So even though there's a lot going on, uh, I'm still able to close the back panel without any issue. But the cables that you get with the Be Quiet power supply are pretty long. Even for a full tower case, you still have plenty of length on those cables, which is good, but you still have to be uh, kind of creative when managing all the cables. So I think I did good. You can't see most of them from the outside, so that's good enough for me. And then I got the uh, drives in place. You can see I'm running one HyperX. Uh, SSD and then a uh, Seagate one terabyte hard drive. But uh, here you can see from the front side, all of the cables are ran and uh, it's looking pretty good. I like where it's going. So the next thing I want to do is actually test the uh, fitment of the graphics card just to kind of get a feel of how everything looks. I was kind of considering just leaving the graphics card uh, with the yellow striping as is, but uh, I don't know. And then for the fan, I wasn't really feeling the white on black fan right next to the black Be Quiet fan. So I decided to go ahead and swap that out. So I had another Be Quiet fan lying around in another case. This is the uh, Pure Wings 2 fan. So it's all black. It'll work perfect with the uh, Be Quiet fan that's on my uh, CPU cooler. So first thing to do is actually remove the sticker just like the other one. So just kind of slowly peeled at it and uh, got it away. Someday I may add uh, like some new stickers, just some plain matte black ones. But I think for now, this works pretty good. I think it looks pretty solid even without the uh, stickers there, just all black kind of a stealthy type of look. So uh, once that was installed, the uh, second hardest part probably was actually addressing the graphics card. So I decided to finally uh, pull this shroud off of the graphics card and I decided to plasti dip it or flexi dip it rather, which is basically just like a rubberized coating over it. Um, I would have painted it, but I'm pretty terrible at painting, so I wanted something that was gonna be removable. So I decided to just paint the entire thing black. And uh, I'm not the best at painting, so it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it to come out, but everything's matching and it's either black or red, which is pretty much what I wanted. So let's take a look at the finished product. And as you can see here, there is kind of a red stripe that goes down the uh, backside of the motherboard, kind of separating the audio from the rest of the board. That light can actually be turned off. So I'm gonna be disabling that because it kind of clashes with the blue that is on the uh, top of my graphics card. But it should look pretty good in the end because I'll have a tinted window from the in through Pro case and then I'll have just a little bit of blue lighting shining through. I'm not a big LED guy, so I think this will work pretty well. And here it is in its entirety where you guys can kind of see the uh, black and red together with the white case. So overall, I'm satisfied with how it looks. I think I kind of accomplished what I was looking for here with the red and black theme. I kind of like everything being all blacked out and just simple. But uh, yeah, you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is there anything else that I should change or that uh, you may have liked to have seen that would make that would have made this come together a little bit better. Like this video if you enjoyed this type of content. Subscribe if you haven't already. Part three will be coming where I will actually benchmark this system so you can see exactly how it performs. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Until next time guys, see ya. Today's actually a pretty special video because I am finally, finally getting to upgrade my personal rig. So. My little camera right here. Some behind the scenes action. That's what it looks like when I'm filming stuff.
Bam. There we go. So normally what I do to focus my shots is I will zoom in on my subject and manually focus till it looks good. Zoom back out and bam. There you can see, there's my shot. Here's a pan. Probably can't tell because the camera's so damn shaky, but yeah, that's a, you get the point. So yeah, it's pretty much the uh, behind the scenes action. So enough blabbering. Let's go ahead and get to work.